Hi everyone. In the last few videos we looked a lot at trees and in this video I just want to do a little short recap just to cover some types of trees. Types of trees. Now we saw types of graphs way back in I think video number four and we've seen now that a tree is a graph which is connected and acyclic meaning that it's connected and has no cycle. So you have sort of an abstract idea of what a tree is, but a little example is something like this, something that you've already seen before. I'll just start drawing a path, and I can draw this path to any length I like. In this particular case, I've drawn P5, but in general, Pn is always a tree. It's pretty clear. Okay, well, what about other examples? There's something called a star, that's pretty cool. It basically looks like a single vertex and then a bunch of other vertices coming out from that, like this. You can have any number coming out, I'll just draw a few. But if you think about another way to draw this same graph, this is just the same as drawing the single vertex here and then the other ones all sort of in another area on the bottom. Maybe I'll just show you with a line like this. Now it should become clear that I have one vertex here in one set and all the other vertices in the graph in a different set. Did I draw the same number? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, I'm missing one. Here we go. Like that. All five vertices here. This is actually the complete bipartite graph with partite set one and the other partite set five. So a star is really just a complete bipartite graph where one of the parts has only size one. Only one. And we actually can generalize this a little bit more. We can have something called a double star. And that would look sort of like what you would expect. There's two sort of things in the center and then everything else comes off of one of these guys. So something like that, something like that, and then the other guy like this. Some stuff coming off of that one. So this is called a double star. And another really fun type of graph, mostly fun because its name is so cool, it's a type of a tree, it's called a caterpillar. And it just looks something like this. I'll just draw an example. So here we have some sort of a path like this. And then we have a bunch of other vertices like this. Some like that. Something like that, a bunch of things. So the basic idea for a caterpillar, caterpillar is to have a tree such that any time you remove all of the leaves, you're going to get a path. So think about that for a moment. I've drawn all the leaves in pink, and so if you remove all the leaves, then you just get a path. And in fact, the path has a special name. The path is called the spine, which kind of makes sense. So that's a cute example of a tree. Now, this may seem completely contrived, like maybe it's not very useful to know what a caterpillar is. But in fact, one of the pieces of research that I was doing was to look at broadcast domination numbers in trees. And the first thing that we did was to look at caterpillars because they were sort of the easier cases of trees to work with. And once we characterized which caterpillars had certain properties, then we were able to move on to the more general case for trees. So it's nice to know what sort of types of trees are out there. These are just some, I think some of my favorites. Um, you can probably find some others. So have fun with that, and I will see you in the next video.